It's hi. the Papa's Kitchen. You gotta say hi to them. Uh, hi, everybody. Yes, I forgot. I've been out of practice. I've, uh, this is yes. the, really the first. I cooked a steak for you the other night, but I just got home earlier this week, and yep, I've been out of did. practice cooking. But I have been been um, funny. I I got halfway through that trip to Asia, and I missed cooking. Is that funny? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm uh, happy to be well, back. Well, I was cooking. ready for you to come back because <laughs> I was tired of oh, cooking. cooking. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, anyhow, I've got a little thing for you. And what I, by the way, we ask people if you remember uh, what they'd like us to yeah. cook and all that. And what came back overwhelmingly was easy, healthy, and uh, uh, budget. Budget. Yes, that's what yes. it was. Yes. One of the things that you can do this little recipe here. It's an actually an old like French farm recipe. I mean, what, what I mean by that, it's called sausage papier. And, and all it is is pulling stuff out of the fridge and putting it all together and putting it in the oven and boom, you got a meal. Yeah, so when you make it, people will think it's really fancy. Yeah, and it's really not. It's just really more of a, a country, French country yeah. dinner kind of thing, you, you know. Can you do the French accent? No, I don't want to even try. I don't. I don't do. I don't <laughs> do like accents. To see it. I know you do, but I don't do that. There's She's people that. Food. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't do. Mm -mm, no, no. So I want to show you this, and uh, again, you can. Um, if I forget to say it, you can really find whatever you want in the fridge and pull it out. I, I found some nice sausage, and these are kielbasa. And I've got one that's regular, and one too, and I, I mark this with a cut on the end, is a spicy, oh, spicy. one, yeah, because I like that. Is and it then, real spicy? No, not real, no. And then I've got just some little white potatoes. I, I looked for bigger, but I couldn't find those. But uh, onion we're gonna use, we're gonna use some garlic. I've got some mushrooms here we're gonna use. And uh, these are some um, uh, sliced... Uh, Shiitake? Uh, no, these are portobellas. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And so... Uh, uh, and, oh, and I've got some carrots that were in the fridge. So these are what is going to make up, primarily make up dinner tonight. Um, sausage papier. Uh, oh, so it's not wrapped in any pastry no, or anything? No, it's not in any pastry, Whoa. but what we're going to do, we've got a large piece of aluminum foil here. You yeah. can use two, but... Okay, you can show us. I'll show you, okay? Show yeah. Alrighty. So, okay, for this sausage papier, I, all I got is I've got my oven heating to 400. I've got a large uh, uh, sheet pan, and I've got a large piece of aluminum foil. And really, we're gonna just add these ingredients right to the aluminum foil, and then we're gonna fold that up and make it sort of sealed, and this thing will cook, cook for about mm, 45 minutes to an hour and 400 degree, and it just comes out, and it's great. And so, let me just show you uh, a way to go about things. First off, just dealing with the sausage, I've got, um, uh, it's kielbasa, and so I'm gonna put, in fact, I probably won't even need all of this. Um, oh, so you don't even cut everything up? No, you really don't. These will cook really nice, and what I'm gonna do here is do uh, two of these like maybe like this and then uh, all I'm going to do is uh, if I had larger potatoes I would actually um, cut, them. cut them and I uh, uh, yeah cut them actually you know what I may just cut these a little bit um, it won't hurt and it'll wrap a little bit better I'm just gonna put these in here uh, you don't need to peel or anything if you had you know Idaho potato kind of thing you could do that and just sort of like this, all like there, there we go. And then I've got um, carrots, now I will cut those uh, just probably in half here. And actually I think I'm gonna take the ends off. I did peel them, people are gonna maybe get upset with me for peeling, they, they think, uh, they say that the, uh, rather the um, uh, in nutrients are in the peel, and I'm all for that, I just peeled them, that's me. I'll do this. And uh, this will be good. Oh, love this. This is going to be so nice. Good little meal for us tonight. You could use any kind of meat. You know what? Uh, any kind of meat? Oh yeah, yeah, you really could actually. Yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. There, like that. 
or do just the vegetables and have it with the meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sweet. But I'm yeah. sure the flavor is The flavors, gonna, I think, is what's going to yeah. really do it. Right. Just going to be great. Uh, okay, my mushrooms, that is fine. I've got enough of that. Around here like that. Um, I do want to put some onion in here. Oh, here's about five or six uh, garlic uh, cloves. Uh, get those in there. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this. I don't think I want a whole onion in there, but let me just do um, half. And Sue, actually, could you take some scissors and go cut me a nice little bit of, um, of thyme from the uh, garden oh, okay. thing? That'll be just nice. Did you see any interesting food on your trip that you hadn't had? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to. I did uh, d had some too, and I'm going to do a video in the next few days. I don't know when it'll come out, but I took video while I while I was there, and I'm going to do a video uh, for you guys of some of the food that I had. Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, and okay, great, thank you. And so I'm going to put this and time. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Put this time here. Uh, a little bit of salt is what we're going to add to this here. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit of pepper. There we go. And then, I uh, trust me on this, babe. Okay, okay. I trust you. But we're going to do a little bit of Tabasco. And then, lastly... Did you do the bay leaf? No. Oh, where's my bay leaf? Right yeah, I want to put a bay leaf on there. I pulled that out to do that. Thank you for reminding me. Put a bay leaf right there. there. Yeah, Beck, let's do two. That'd be nice. There we go. All I want to do is drizzle some uh, extra virgin olive oil on here. And um, to do like this. Just great. about like that, yeah. And so that's really how we're going to do this thing. And we want to sort of get this all. <laughs> and we can get that on. I mean, it doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> In fact, it's not going to be pretty, so as you, you can tell. Seal it, right? Yeah, you got to seal it up. You bring the sides and up. so I'm going to bring the sides in. And up on this top, what I am going to do over here, I'm sealing it all really pretty good and tight just like that but here i'm not going to seal it as tight i do want the steam to be able to escape uh that is going to be developed here you talk about easy you talk about good and um you could do this ahead of time you, put it in your fridge you could put it in the fridge it pull it out it in. put the oven on yeah. sit down uh, enjoy, uh, you know, a glass or whatever, and then uh, uh, put put it in the oven uh, when the oven comes to to heat. And you sit back, and you know, all you do is uncover it and heat it. And so you're you're gonna see how this all works. Here, it's gonna be really good. And my oven's ready. And what so is the temperature in the oven? Four hundred on the oven. So just like that. I want just a little bit of gap yeah, so that we get a little steam out. And that's all. Look at just like that cool. and that's what goes in so off we go to the oven and while that's doing that i came across the little recipe that i want to try with you guys i've made i've been making in fact the first thing i did when i got home from my trip was make some more sourdough and uh i made a cinnamon raisin one which is so good and then I've got just the regular, and I'm gonna slice this, and I'm going to make, uh, it's really a Scottish rarebit. And it's not, oh, yeah. you know, and it's not rabbit, that. it's rarebit, and it's a cheesy toast. And the reason I, I looked at it, uh, on the flight back up where I was sitting, <laughs> long flight, like, you know, uh, in fact, the flight over with Bell was 17 hours. Uh, from San Fran to Singapore. If you want to see that video. Yeah, it was on last Wednesday. It was last so. Wednesday. So, so it's the last Wednesday of February. They serve mid after your dinner and all that and for snacks in the middle they serve soups and a miso soup and a few other things because it's uh, Asian market. 
but they also serve something that is uh, evidently popular in Australia called uh, Cheesy Toaster. I forget the name of it, but it reminded me, it wasn't that good, but it reminded me <laughs> of Welsh rarebit or Scottish rarebit. So uh, my side of my dad's side is the French, that's in the oven. My mother's side is the English, the Irish, Scottish. and a little bit of Scottish. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me clean this up. I'll come back in a second and show you how we put that thing together as well. Okay, now I sort of rearranged and reconfigured the counter here for doing this cheesy toasty. That's what it is, by the way. It just occurred to me on the plane in from Australia. It's a toasty, a cheesy toasty. <laughs> this is a Scottish version, some lady Scottish version, she's Scottish, uh, of a Scotch rarebit. I gotta think of my <laughs> words, it's terrible. It's you really gotta say rabbit. I know it. It's really very easy, actually. First off, let me get my uh, my hot plate going here. And I've got sour my sourdough, and really what I'm going to do, find a knife here to butter things. I'm going to take and put butter on one side. And additionally, and let, let me do another one actually, one with the butter. And in addition to the butter, I'm also going to put uh, mayonnaise. Oh, butter and mayonnaise? Yeah, and mayonnaise. Oh, come Ooh. on, you gotta do these things right. And we're gonna do like this, put a nice coat of mayonnaise down. And we're going to put that spread side down on the uh, hot... Something's tickling my throat. Sorry. Your tongue. <laughs> now that was funny. Oh well, what can I say? <laughs> Just like that. There we go. We're gonna put that down. We're gonna let that get golden brown on that side. Now, in addition, I've got 70, 75 grams of white cheddar. Which is about what? I don't can know. Tell, Somebody do it. me, I don't know. Well, look at about it. About, I don't know, half, three-quarter cup, whatever. Three-quarter. I'm going to add one tablespoon of mascarpone cheese. Oh, well, we don't carry that. Well, it's at your grocery store. Pick up some. And there's tons of recipes out it's there. It's creamy, right? It's just creamy cheese. It's a French cheese. I think it's French, actually. Just like that. And to all of that, I love it. I'm going to take my eighth of a ta teaspoon, an eighth of uh, mustard, ground mustard. I like a little bit more because I got a little bit extra cheese there. An eighth of uh, ground allspice. Okay. <laughs> an eighth of white pepper. Allspice was that? Uh huh. And an eighth teaspoon mm. of black pepper. And I'm going to mix this up. Now, look at, let me tell you something right here before everybody gets upset with me. If you're doing this for your children, then the next step, use milk, whole milk. No, milk. Milk. <laughs> and all you're going to do is a half a, a, a tablespoon. Is it half a tablespoon? What did I do? Let me break, look at my note. Mm -mm -mm. Half a teaspoon of milk, not tablespoon. Oh, goodness. If you're an adult and you don't mind the taste and like the taste and the alcohol cooks off anyhow, you're going to use some whiskey. That's the Scottish part, evidently. Evidently. And you're going to do a half a teaspoon of whiskey and put it in there. Oh, just a half a just teaspoon? Just a half a teaspoon. It's not much. It's just a flavor no. thing. And then you're going to mix this all up. And you're going to make a paste. Just like that. What kind of cheese does it do you regularly? I, I think you use whatever. typically whatever. But you could use like a smoked cheddar would be delicious. Oh, or a Gouda? Uh, a you Gouda? could probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't want to burn these. So let me just look at this a little bit. Mm. 
a little bit more, but that's just doing beautiful. And then on the top side here, you're going to spread your cheese. It's like a toasted cheese sandwich. It's a toasty, a it's cheesy a toasty. Flair. Yes, exactly. <laughs> And then you're going to put it under the broiler and you're going to let that thing just rip and get real hot and melty, almost liquidy. And it is going to be so, so, so good. And this, listen, you can do this for breakfast, you can do this for lunch, dinner, you can do this just for a snack, this toast, when you're just needing a little pick-me-up. Mm. Let's just see. Oh, they're starting to brown. Starting to brown. I just want a little bit more. I don't even need these two pieces. It's going to be just plenty. Oh, so they're open faced. They're open faced. Oh, and then you go. cut them or whatever. You can pick them up in small bites or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a great appetizer. I mean, you know, oh, if that'd you want, be good. it would be excellent. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, very nice. I'm going to take that one out. Oops, I didn't look. I was looking, but not with camera. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna take this, turn that off, and now I'm just gonna put my cheese on each one. Just like this. Use my hands is probably the better way to do this here. Easier. Mm-hmm. My pieces of bread are pretty large. Yeah, but you have enough for them. Yep, I do. Yum, yum. Yeah. Let me get my little knife here. We can just make it smooth. What can go wrong? With what cheese? can go wrong? Cheesy that bread. Now that's the way to respond. Cheese what could go bread. wrong? Cheesy bread. It's the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. And what I'm going to do is the minute my current project in the oven is done then this i'm going to put back in here and it's going to go under the broiler for probably three four maybe even five minutes until it's all nice and bubbly and then we're going to take it out and we're going to try it and see what you think about it all right okay good so we'll be back here in just a minute and we're going to put bring all of this wonderful easy meal together for you. <laughs> All right, everything's sort of coming together here. I put my uh, cheesy toasties back in my pan, got the thing on the broiler. I raised the, the rack up a little bit. I'm gonna put that in there and we're gonna have to watch that pretty carefully. Uh, Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. You gotta get that or else I'll, I'll let that thing burn right up. This came out and this is, should be all done. We'll see what this looks like. Okay, that's what that looks like. Yes, <laughs> that's what that looks like. There we go. Oh my, oh look Ooh. at this. Look at this. Look at this. Looks wonderful. Look at this. Oh yeah. See, and look at the potato. Oh, perfect. Oh, everything nicely done. Perfect. Just beautiful. Carrot, everything. So that is done. And um, Babe, I forget which one I made the hot. Oh no, it was right over here. That's oh, it right. doesn't matter. Well, I don't want you. Uh... I don't think they're that hot either. No, they're really not. So let's just do it like this. Are you gonna taste it? I'm gonna pull this out of here. Yeah, take the time, put that away. There we go. Oh my gosh. It did smell good. Yeah. We could smell it in the oh, oven. Look at, look at those onions. I, I don't know about y'all. I love cooked onion. Yeah, I do too. Oh my goodness. This is just beautiful. Get some of these. Mushrooms. Mushrooms there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could just eat it out of there. <laughs> you could. <laughs> you could. Now, are you going to put ketchup on it? Oh, a little Tabasco. I don't think any ketchup, but you could do whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, goodness sake. Look at there. All it right, come on. It just looks like a ketchup there's, deal. I don't look know at, why. There's, there there's the deal. Looks great. Doesn't that look wonderful? Yeah. And that's just such a simple meal. Like Susan said, you could do this ahead of time. Put it in the fridge, the package. Um, and, and by the way, if you don't have the aluminum foil, you could even use parchment. 
And uh, would you have to use cooked meat because this was cooked? Uh, yeah, you probably need to, but no, I don't know. That's a really good question. I don't know that you would. I have bet to. you would. It probably would. Um, if you, you bake basically, so like if you had leftover roast or something like that, yeah, just make something different. Exactly. With that. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. It, I mean, you can just do a lot of things. Oh yeah. And look at this. There oh, we go. Look perfect. at that. Alexa off. And that is done, folks. Right there. I'm telling you. I mean, this is all coming there you together go. in just a beautiful way. My goodness. Let's take this. And put this over here. It's still a little hot. I can put this up here. Mm. I'll tell you right now, Susan, you, you're you're a lucky woman. Oh, I know. You're that. lucky woman. I am so. You know you are. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. Good to. Oh, and see, so you did it the same pan, so all the butter was still in yep, there. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. That's exactly. All right, you gotta taste that one. Which one? That one. Oh, this? On camera. Okay, I'll do that. Cause that's gonna be your favorite, I can tell anyway. You think so? Cause you like sandwiches. I do. I would have a sandwich three meals a day. Anybody like that? Yeah. I mean a sandwich king. Okay. It's hot, by the it way. It is hot, and cheese is Don't always hot. Don't burn your tongue. In the roof of your mouth. Is that good? Oh. That is good. Better than on the plane. <laughs> mm. Mm. No, good. Oh, mm. Get your some of this. Here, get this going. You got it made. This is a perfect little meal. All right, yeah, so it'll be good. I think the papa is back home and back at it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> good for you. All right. Thank you. Hey, we'll see you next time. Have a good week. Talk to you.